Taoiseach, um, I received an answer to a parliamentary question from the Minister for Justice uh, to say that um, the uh, report into the death of the tra tragic and untimely death of Shane O'Farrell, uh, commissioned uh, with the cooperation of Judge Gerard Houghton, was presented on the 1st of June 2022. That's in a couple of days, a year ago. And after 12 years of Lucia O'Farrell and her family voting like tigers to have this report published and to have a full public inquiry established, and this Doyle and the Shannon voting in favour of same, I want to ask you now that out of respect for the O'Farrell family, is it not time now that you publish the report, discuss the conclusions reached by Judge Houghton, and then on the back of that, open up a full public inquiry? It's gone on too long. It's terribly tragic and sad, and we've all witnessed uh, how much it has impacted on the O'Farrell family. And it's time that a year after its publication, or a year after the minister receiving it, it's still not published. That's not on uh, Taoiseach, and I'd like you to respond to that. So I thank, uh, <clears throat> thank the deputies uh, for, uh, for their questions. Um, Deputy Tobin uh, raised the um, difficulties that we've had with so many commissions of investigation uh, taking so long and costing so much. Um, and I often meet people who uh, request uh, a commission investigation into some matter or another. And I often, I'm often very upfront with them and I say, uh, this, this will take years. Uh, it could cost many millions of euros and you might be happy with the findings. Uh, and they don't always work out very well. Um, uh, some have worked out, worked out well, some haven't. Um, but I think there are lots of different ways to carry out investigations. Commissions of investigation are, are one way. Uh, tribunals are another. Guard investigations, GSOC investigations, and of course the new Corporate Enforcement Authority, which I established last year as Minister for Enterprise, um, now has much stronger powers to investigate um, allegations of commercial um, malpractice or fraud. And I think that's probably the body uh, that should be used in the future for investigations that relate to commercial matters or commercial transactions. Um, and of course the Gardaí uh, Economic Crime Bureau has, has a role in that too. Um, one of the suggestions being put forward in the IBRC report is that we have a standing uh, Commission of Inquiry. Um, that uh, would mean we don't have to set one up each time, um, but there are pros and cons to doing that as well, and that needs to be thought through and fleshed out. Um, in relation to the Houghton report, um, as far as I'm aware, that's with the Minister for Justice. He's been very keen to publish it. We want to publish it as soon as possible, but there's been an engagement uh, with the family um, about it. Uh, certainly, if they're happy for it to be published, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be published, but I haven't been involved in that personally. Um, what I would say to people, though, is, is that uh, Judge Houghton did a very detailed report. I'd ask people to read his conclusions and to read those conclusions before calling for the next step to be taken, because his conclusions in that regard are very clear. Um, in relation to the immigrant investment program, um, just to be very clear, it does not involve passports or citizenship whatsoever, it never did. Um, the immigrant investor program involves a residency permit uh, for a number of years if somebody makes a major investment uh, in the state. Um, there was nothing specifically came up that was untoward about it. Uh, however, um, the numbers availing of it are much larger than we expected almost all came from the one country, and that raised concerns, and that's why we suspended it. But let's not forget that it did bring millions of euros uh, into um, sports clubs and community centres and uh, economic programmes all around the country. It wasn't a bad scheme in itself, um, but we suspended it for those reasons. Uh, but it's not comparable with, um, in any way with, 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 with passports or citizenship um, or, or, or the normal integration system. It was a permit in return for investment. Um, just relate, in relation to the Mother and Baby Institutions, um, Minister Gorman has appointed with the agreement of government, uh, Sheila Noonan, to engage with religious orders on their making of a contribution. Um, they are under no legal obligation to do so, uh, and it's unlikely that if we pursue them in the courts, um, that we would uh, be able to, to, to secure uh, anything from them uh, through that mechanism. But we do think they have a moral obligation to make a contribution, whether it's in the form of land or monies, and that's what we're seeking, and that's what, what she is seeking, and they have done in the past in relation to other, other, other abuse. Um, as I understand it, the, the children boarded out who were in mother and baby homes are included. Uh, those who are not in mother and baby homes aren't. Uh, it is a mother and baby home institution scheme. Uh, we're not proposing any, any further changes to the scheme at this stage. We're keen to get up and running, and we want that to happen uh, as soon as possible.